All right, guys, we are going to be doing our standing back handspring and how to spot one. So first, I'm going to show you how to spot one when somebody's actually just hucking for it. They're ready to go. You feel safe about their jump and their entry into it. And then I'll show you some other ones where when people aren't quite confident yet, how you can kind of spot them into it. I'm trying to use somebody like Ryan because he's a bit bigger than what most of your students are going to be. So that way you can kind of get an idea. All right. What I'm going to do first is I need to get down onto my knees. The reason I need to get down to my knees is if I'm here, he's going to be back handspringing. The lowest part of his body is going to be about hip height. I can't be spotting him down here. My arms won't reach and get in the way and it'll be a difficult position for my low back. So I'm going to squat down. You can either come down on both knees. Some people like to bring a leg off to the side like this because he is going to be transferring this way and I can lean over onto it. If you've got wide enough legs, you can just lean over like this. Now what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be putting the flat of my hand onto Ryan's low back. In a lot of things, people will, like in our back flips, will do this, and I can spot him here on the back handspring. A grab to the shirt is not as necessary for a back handspring. All right? So I've got my hand on flat on his low back, and what I'm going to be doing is turning then and lifting my elbow up. It kind of peels my hand off a little bit, you can see, and that is just so he'll have room to do his arm swing, and as he swings forward, then my elbow comes down, my hand goes to flat. Now it's important for Ryan and for your student to understand that when they're doing a back handspring, their goal is to jump and fall backwards to a 45 degree angle as they snap into their arch, not to leave his hips here. So what I'm going to have Ryan do is, Ryan, I want you to swing your arms behind you and squat down. Good, but chest up because we're right here. So from here, what I like to tell people, and this is one that I found very, very helpful, is you are now sitting in a roller coaster. You've got the bar across here. You can't go forward from here. From this position, you can only fall backwards as you extend into your back handspring. All right, so as we're doing that, we need to fall backwards into the back handspring. Come on up here again. Mm -hmm. Now this time I'm just gonna have Ryan go a little faster. So notice where Ryan stood, not his fault or anything, but he's right in between me. His back handspring takes place over here then. So I need to start him far enough off to the side that I can think of it this way. Watch, Ryan, put your arms up. Ryan, fall straight backwards, stay like a statue. See right here? The center of my body should be where his hips are. Then he can rotate himself over. All right, let's try it with a little bit of force this time. We're gonna come right here. We're gonna grab the shirt anyways, because why not? Always good to have extra safety. Ryan, I want you to start with your arms in front of you, chin up, start with a solid body position. And whenever you're ready, you can go for your back handspring. <laughs> not bad, you'll notice Ryan really sat. He sat way past a 45. We wanna jump into a 45, and then we become a teeter-totter. One side, other side, here's the center of their hips. One side goes down, other side comes up. Nice and teeter-tottery. Now, if your student is having some trouble with jumping, some students, they get in here, and they just fall onto you. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start in a little closer, right, so that way you can really take their body weight. So I'm actually stepping right where he is. I'm not gonna let him do an arm swing right now because he's gonna smack me in the face, although he'd probably enjoy that because it'd be funny. What I'm gonna have him do instead is put his arms up. Now I want you to bend your knees so you're squatting about halfway down. Now from here, see where your butt is? Leave your butt here and fall your upper body backwards to here. And now I've got him in a cradle. Push their hips up and over so they practice a snap down. If I leave, if he's got an uh, arched upper body and his butt's over here and his feet go over, he's gonna be coming down in a pike position. He will lose all of his power. That was solid, Ryan. Good job.